Hello, hello, hello. Platinum End, episode 16. Last two episodes have been really good for the show, I'll admit. Probably the best two episodes maybe for the whole season so far. And last one's was more of a chill episode, but it was very informative, giving us a lot about the angels, showing us all of them, showing us Tsutsumu's angel, explaining how Metropolitan Man got a red arrow in him, and it wasn't voluntarily. Yep, this kid Tsutsumu is a psycho i mean you could look at it in a charitable way and that way would be that he's just a kid and at the end of the day he hasn't really learned or formed any solid morals yet so when he's presented with such power like this he doesn't know what it means to use it for good or bad so you could look at it that way or you could look at it as the way that i like to look at it where he's a psychotic demon child who is just pure evil and wants to kill everyone so that is much more interesting, so I think I'm gonna go with that. Let's get into the episode. Oh yeah, I forgot this dude literally outed Mirai in front of the world. Bro, imagine snitching like this, that's crazy. Bro, with this music on, I don't believe a thing this kid is saying. This music is just so creepy, it makes me not trust anyone. Wow, that's crazy. That's that is that foreshadowing for what like Mirai might do. I feel like Mirai, if he became God, he would just abolish the idea of it. Bro, dude, this is gonna be a massacre. Escape that shit easy, bro. What did you think was gonna happen? Is he gonna kill them? Are you actually demon child? Oh no, he's... Hey, he left him alive. He might not... Okay, okay. <laughs> On a serious note, I don't think he's evil. I think he's just a kid. You know, I wonder if since Metropolitan is dead, or now that he's dead, rather. I wonder if this guy's gonna get more involved into the story. Involved with Mirai. I don't know. It just seemed like there was so much more to him. Hashtag God... Oh... <laughs> So cringe. Oh, that's his girl. Oh, okay. You know who probably wrote that? Your girl. You got the feds watching this shit? Are you kidding me? Whole ass secret service agent just chilling. God can just really do exist. So, it seems like the government is actually taking all this shit seriously. It started off as just like a phenomenon. They thought it was like some cinematography or some sort of play acting going on outside but this is some real ass shit bro wait these guys are still here drinking tea it's been like a whole ass episode didn't even finish the fucking curry and rice let's run away damn what would you do fellas he said be gone Bro, I wish this dude had some expression on his face. I just need one, like, facial expression. That is, like, one thing that this series is missing with characters. It's the facial expressions are, like, barely there. They're only there when they're trying to exaggerate it to the max. But, like, look at it. Production of the show definitely could have been better. Creepy as hell. Bro, I know anime uniforms are like usually pretty bad, but what the fuck is this, dude? What are these checkered ass patterns? Bro, you don't get the fuck. Yo, you know how scared I would have been? Get in the car now. Okay, stranger danger. Get the. Oh no. It's wrong to capture you. Bro, this dude's a psycho. I don't know if he's more- he might be more dangerous than the police. What happened to her? Oh, she shot her? She shot her, didn't she? Why she say I'm sorry? Are they together or something? But we also promised to spend our lives. Oh, okay. I mean, this guy is like kind of the standard stereotypical like helper dude that kind of helps you in like video games and shit. So definitely giving me NPC vibes though. 
The world's greatest assassin. Yeah. Till you come to find out this guy can't even kill a bug. This country would do it too. Hell yeah, bro. Every fucking country would do it. Are you kidding me? Bro, a weapon like that? You could wipe out humanity if you wanted. That's probably what Metropolitan would have ended up doing. Every anime cat ever. Still haven't found him. Good guy. Oh, yeah, this guy might be good. He might. I think he passes the live check. <laughs> she said, okay. Yo, the red hour can be funny. It's going to be funny too. Destroy the phone. Miss some old ass iPhones, bro. They still got the home buttons on them. He's like, she's never looked at me and thought about me like this. <laughs> oh, feels bad, man. So I guess this is his actual ideals. Whenever they show like inner monologues like that, usually pretty real. Yeah, that's just him at its core. I think that's like something they're going to try to keep because it's like such a staple of his character i like how batman doesn't kill people except that one time when he did she's gonna see the angels be like what the fuck am i looking at this is very similar to how they used to ask shinigami questions in death note when they used to communicate through the people who have the death note who or what are you exactly we can't reveal that yet reveal that yet aren't they angels hmm now that that's making me think there's something more to it. Ooh, the little horse face going on here? Oh, he is a god candidate. Some preacher, dude. Of course, dude. There's always one of them. Oh, he's not. Oh, he's just a LARPer. Oh, he fucking sold me on it, too. Oh, no. He's a fucking televangelist or some shit. Dude, do this pose. This pose is just... Dude, you gotta chill with that pose. <laughs> okay, episode 16. Platinum End. The government is starting to get much more involved in whatever is going on with these god candidates and the selection. We finally get that character. And this happens uh, when there's police involved. There's always the one police officer, the renegade, who goes against the wishes of the police force and works with our main characters who are seen as villains and so this is that this is that guy he seems to be pretty honest i'm not really sure if he's gonna be that way but judging from the inner monologues we got he seems all right susumu is basically a kid i don't really see him as much of a threat at least yet i think he could be used and manipulated but he is just a kid with a lot of power and he doesn't really know how to use that and a lot of the times it's very impulsive and can be no, pretty bad. <laughs> I've probably said this before, but I really wish the facial expressions in the show were a little bit better. I feel like with proper production, this show could have been so good, dude. Like, just imagine if we had like a, like a, even an A1 Pictures animating this. Who, who is the, who is the, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Signal MD, bro. What have they done? They did a they did a fate grand order special i think so that's pretty cool but other than that bro i haven't really watched any of these things that they put out yeah they haven't even put out that much but yeah i wish the production was better you know the the facial expression are just non-existent and uh whenever they do show stuff like that it's usually when there's something crazy going on like a character about to die or something like with hajime or uh metropolitan man so we pretty much know all the god candidates there's only two that we don't know which are probably going to be saved for maybe next season or who knows maybe even the end of this season but the girl that we saw last episode who's god candidate got captured susumu's still you know somewhere just running around there's even people who are acting like god candidates and getting people to throw money at them uh we saw that weird horse face guy literally just larping and like doing some weird televangelist type shtick in front of hundreds maybe even thousands of people it's just it's just so it's so realistic so funny it's, that's you know that's that happens in real life too so that's gonna do for this one though if you guys enjoyed the video uh be sure to leave a like let me know what you guys thought about the episode uh, i'll catch you guys on the next one peace